Hello everyone, it's Taylor and today I'm here to play the YA characters in horror movies game and I saw this video for the first time on um, Kate's Book Dates channel and I really really enjoyed her video so I thought that I would film one of my own so let's go ahead and jump right into it. I have all of my book characters in this mug right here. It says which better have my coffee and I actually just got this for my birthday. I thought it was so cute if it'll focus. So yeah, again with the Halloween theme, and here we go, we're going to pick our first name out of the cup, and that is Blue. Blue Sergeant from the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater. Um Blue's kind of like a no-nonsense character. I feel like she would be the female protagonist who survived the horror movie, like Sydney in Scream, or... Um, I saw this one movie called Your Next, and I don't remember the name of the character, but I'm pretty sure it was Rashida Jones, and she was like a serious badass. She survived all the way through the end of the movie, so I think that would probably be Blue if she was in a horror movie. Is Gansey from, also from the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Stiefvater, and Gansey. I feel like Gansey is a really... He's that character that wants to save the day, but I feel like he'd probably end up getting killed. Like, he wouldn't get killed first, but he would probably get killed, like, trying to help someone else or save someone else. That's just a very Gansey type thing to do. Up next, we have Max and Shreve from the... What is that series? The Selection series. So Max and his are, like, lovely Prince Charming and... Again, I feel like he would probably be a Gansey type character. He would definitely sacrifice himself probably for a female character that he was interested in and, you know, or, you know what, here's another alternative. Maybe in this sort of happier horror movie that Max and Shreve would be in, him and his love interest would both survive because, you know, he's just that character that you root for. You want him to be happy and not be the lone survivor at the end of the horror movie. So here's hoping. Up next, we have Bella Swan. I know that you guys probably already know what I'm gonna say, and in my horror movie, Bella Swan would die first. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. It's a tough world out there. All right, moving on. We've got Isabel Lightwood. Okay. Isabel Lightwood, 100%, would not be in a, a damsel in distress. She would be out there, like, kicking butt. I feel terrible for the villain who tries to come and kill Isabel Lightwood because that is not happening. She'd take out her flippin' whip and she would handle that business real quick. So, she is definitely the proactive character in the horror movie who's trying to find the solution and save the day. All right, next up... Simon Lewis! And isn't it just so wonderful that Isabel came right before Simon because, you know, Sizzy feels. They're both from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare, and I love them both so much. And Simon. You know, Simon. Simon is just such a great character, and he's so funny, and... I think that Simon would be like the Jamie Kennedy character in Scream 2. So that, <laughs> when that character dies, it's honestly such an iconic scene. So iconic actually that they copied that scene over sort of into the scary movie movies. And um, he's kind of like yelling at the killer like, come find me, come and get me, like, who are you, come and get me, and then, um, he gets killed after he's, like, trying to be all tough guy, but for the most part, that character isn't a tough guy, that character is, like, the funny, jokey, like, comedic humor of the movie, uh, Scream 1 and 2 movies, so I think that that would definitely be sort of in line with our funny guy, Simon Lewis. It's actually really sad to think about like would all my favorite book characters die or would they survive? I feel like for the most part I'm like trying to make them survive because you know nobody wants their favorite characters to die. It's sad. Okay, Harry Potter. Okay, is this even worth discussing? Harry Potter 
is a survivor. Like hands down, if anyone in this world is a survivor, Harry Potter is. And he already has his own movie series in which he survives several like daring feats of crazy proportions and they get crazier as the movies go on. So he is 100% the character in the movie that survives and always tries to find the solution for the whole group and tries to get as many people to safety as he can. Next up we have Clary Frey, also from The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, and Clary. I feel... I feel like Clary... That's a hard one because Clary also goes through some pretty crazy circumstances in her book series. So I feel like she would, she would like make a good show at surviving, but like, would she survive all the way to the end? I feel like in horror movies, it's a lot harder for female characters to survive. So if she was like the protagonist of her own horror series, she would definitely survive. But if she's just like a supporting character, like you're hard pressed as a female, well really as anyone, to survive a horror movie if you are a supporting character. So best of wishes, Clary. Next up we have America Singer from the Selection series by Kira Cass. Um, America Singer. She's really frustrating. I mean, like, she's a character that you love. Uh, I was gonna say love to hate, but like, you don't hate her, you just get irked with her. Um, she would get killed. In a horror movie, she would get killed. She does annoying things. She like, na never ever listens. Um, I'm trying to think of what a good like horror movie alternative, Oh, great horror movie alternative. And I keep talking about Scream because the Scream, trilogy i don't count scream 4 which came out recently like i guess i counted in the scream saga but the trilogy is like holy grail so in the first scream movie sydney's best friend is plays but played by rose mcgowan and she's this sort of like popular girl and she always has an attitude and she knows everything and i feel like um while america singer has more substance as a character she would kind of be that character like oh killer what are you gonna do are you gonna kill me just to be like like in your face killer like even if you kill me I don't care because I'm just annoyingly aloof like that so there you go that's my theory for America Singer Emmett Cullen oh this is good because uh, Emma Cullen, like in the Twilight books and movies, he's like sort of the macho man. So he's definitely going to be that guy. Usually the macho man ends up dying in some like really terrible to watch kind of a way. Like just ultimate blood and guts and gore. So I feel like Emma Cullen would probably be the macho man who ends up dying in a very sad sort of way. So I'm sorry, Emmett. Someone's got to be that character. Mare Barrow. We have Mare Barrow from the Red Queen series by Victoria Aveyard. And Mare, I could also see going two ways. She could either be the, like, female that gets through to the end and she's, like, so hardcore. Or she could be the, like, hero character that does something stupid and dies for everyone. I know this isn't a horror movie, but um, the third Batman movie, The Dark Knight Rises, is that? Yeah. Um, when he, like, drives the jet out over the, the ocean and it has the explosive in it and he's going to sacrifice himself for everyone. I feel like if there was that kind of a situation, like a bomb situation or something, she would be the one to kill herself and save everyone else. So that's how she'd probably die in a horror movie. Um, Ronan Lynch. Oh, Ronan Lynch. Um, also from the Raven Cycle series by Maggie Steve Otter. I am clearly reading that series right now because all of like my favorite characters have popped up in this little game here. Um, but Ronan Lynch. 
Ronan Lynch is your typical sort of like angry, know-it-all, curse like a sailor character. And oh, who I, you know what? I think Ronan might be an unexpected villain, like a total plot twist villain. If there's a mass killer and we're trying to figure out who it is and it seems like maybe it's someone in the group, it might be Ronan. And not because I think he's murdery, well he, I get murdery vibes from him, but he's sort of this like a wild card. You don't really know what's going on with him, like what's going on in his head, is he stable? Probably not entirely stable, but um, yeah, he might be like the secret in the group killer that everyone's trying to find. That would be my guess for Ronan Lynch in a horror movie. Moving right along, we have, oh, this is a good one. Queen Alara from the Red Queen series. She sucks, she's evil. Like, I mean, she doesn't suck. She is a wonderful, amazing, villainous character. But like, in terms of, do I like her? No, I don't like her in that way, she sucks. Um, but she would obviously be the villain, like 100% be the villain. Um, She's very ruthless. She is very manipulative. I would, you know what I could see her being? She would be like Jigsaw in the Saw saga, I guess. Um, she's this sort of like puppeteer character who would like to pull the strings and she would like other people to die because of her, but not actually be the one committing the murder. So 100%. Queen Alara is the female Jigsaw. I'm all for that. Karu. Karu from the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. Karu is hands down the female protagonist who survives the horror movie. I just, I mean, in her book series, her name literally is, translates to the word hope in one of the languages that they speak. So clearly, Hope, she's not gonna be killed. She's gonna like, yeah. But that being said, she's gonna be in a movie like where there are no other survivors. There is like some serious emotional trauma because I just feel like she's had some stuff happen to her in her lifetime. So for sure, she would be in like some serious emotional trauma like Probably something like where she witnessed everyone around her dying, like something very purgy. Like if she survived the purge and everyone in her group around her died through the night, I feel like, yeah, sad. I should write horror movies. I'm dark and twisty. Oh, this is great. Luna Lovegood from the Harry Potter series. And I hate to say this because Luna is one of my favorite characters in that book series. Um, she's just so lovely and bubbly and amazing, but she would die, 100%. She would die in like the most ditzy and probably avoidable way. Um, I just, I'm like thinking back to like Paris Hilton, House of Wax death, which if you haven't seen it, do yourself a favor, YouTube, Paris Hilton, Death Scene, House of Wax. It's it's definitely a little bit um, more scandalous than, um, than Luna Lovegood would ever be, but it's like a crazy death. And I feel, I feel like that might be something intense that the horror movie has in store for Luna. So there you go, that's Luna Lovegood. Alina Starkov. Alina Starkov would definitely be in some sort of like fantasy horror movie, definitely where there were some sort of like magical powers or something going on. Um, and she would definitely, she might die. She might die. I could see her being one of the ones that dies, but she would do some cool stuff with her magical powers. And then she would probably sacrifice herself for a ton of people, like most of our, you know, chosen one characters end up doing. So um, if I didn't already say though, Alina is from the Grisha trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. Um, she is the protagonist to the Darkling's antagonist. So 
Yeah, she would definitely, she definitely seems like a fated to die character. Actually, I'm having trouble finishing that trilogy right now because I just, uh, I just feel like she's gonna die in that trilogy. I blame Veronica Roth because nothing feels safe anymore. I can never just go into a series thinking like, oh, my main character is totally good, like 100%. Nobody is safe. Nobody is safe. Not in the books, not in the horror movies, something to remember. So there you have it. <laughs> On that pleasantly cheerful note, I am going to wrap up the YA book characters in horror movies game. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video because I enjoyed filming it. Um, obviously books are some of my favorite things to read and horror movies are some of my favorite things to watch. So it was fun to kind of think about these characters in some of these cool, fun, not horror type genres um, in some of my favorite horror movie, movie settings. So there you go. That is the challenge all wrapped up. Thanks again for watching and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos from me.